I am legit this close to cutting my own hair. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to kick off This Is Halloween 2020 with the newest release from Rebel Rouge Labs and it is their Howlin' For You palette. Yes, it is the start of This Is Halloween. So if you're ready, then I'm ready. So let's get started. Before we get started, I do want to say welcome to all of our new family members out there. And in case you're not familiar with me yet, my name is Melissa Leah Garrett and I'm a cruelty-free makeup and beauty reviewer. I'm a makeup enthusiast, a plus size beauty, and a PNH and ITP fighter. If you'd like to know more about those two diseases, there are videos down below in my playlist that you can check out. Also, while you're at it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to join the fam and hit that notification bell. Therefore, you know when I'm posting, even though I mainly post on Tuesdays and Fridays. Also, give this video a like while you're at it. Um, yeah, so I have been in vacay mode since I've come back from Nag's Head. Um, I did upload that vlog on Friday and I do appreciate all the love that you guys gave that vlog. It's a little bit of a sneak peek into my life with my family. Um... It was a lot of fun, but when I came back, I was still in vacay mode, so I didn't do anything. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I didn't post anything. I didn't record anything because I was still in vacation mode. <laughs> but as I stated in the intro, we are kicking off This Is Halloween 2020 with the newest release from Rebel Rouge Labs, and it is their Howling For You palette. Um, this one is different than their regular palettes, and I will tell you why. So let's just go ahead and get on into it. First, let's take a look at this gorgeous artwork that is on the sleeve of the palette. It is so, so pretty. I love her artwork. It just, it really fits the aesthetic of her brand. And this is what the artwork looks like on the actual palette itself. I think this is so neat with the wolf and the lightning. And it just, it really does bring the essence of like the spooky season that's coming up. Now you're probably wondering, Melissa, how is this palette different than any of their other palettes? I'm going to use this as the Suspended in Dusk palette as an example. Normally her palettes are 12 pan palettes, but this one is a 9 pan palette. Um, you do get a little plastic piece inside of it. And this is what it looks like on the inside. These pans are huge compared to her other ones. Now think of um, Juvia's Place size pans um, with their nine palette pans and it's the exact same size. You also get a nice size mirror. Hey guys. And I love the glittery holographic packaging. It is just so neat. It just, it really just meshes the whole vibe of the palette together. So you get nine shades. You have one, two, three, four mattes. You have one, two, three, four metallics, and you have a pressed glitter shade in the middle. Let's go ahead and start swatching. And later on, I will show you how I came up with this eye look using this palette in a in a shade from the Suspended in Dusk palette. Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and start with the first row. We have Beast. Electrode and Abyss. I did use Abyss on the outer corner and in the crease to deepen up my look. You have Beast that is a metallic. Um, Electrode is a matte and Abyss is a metallic, but it is more of the satin finish than a foil finish metallic. That is what they look like on my finger. No primer on my hand as always. I was able to blend out Abyss rather nicely. Let's go ahead and blend out Electrode a little bit. I mean, it looks great swatched, but there it is blended out. And Beast can be a little chunky because it is more on the foil metallic side. So you are gonna have to be careful. I don't know if you can see it right there. So you're gonna have to be careful as far as as far as fallout on your cheeks. I didn't have any fallout with Abyss though. Your next row, we have Laboratory, Ghosted, and Zoinks. 
extra bonus points if you know where Zoinks is from. Let me know down in the comments below what your guesses are. <laughs> Laboratory is a matte and I actually used it as my transition color. Ghosted is your pressed glitter and Zoinks is a matte. This is what they look like on my finger. I will have to say that I do like the feeling of Ghosted better than the glitters that were in the last palette of theirs because those ones felt more like a gel type glitter and I'm not a big fan of gel type glitters. This one actually feels more like an eyeshadow glitter, kind of like how Texas House of Glitters had theirs. I'm just going to pat it on my hand. I'm not going to rub it. Ghosted. What do I mean? I really like the shift in this glitter. It is like, it has like every type of color that's in the palette. And Zoinks is a beautiful shade. See if I can blend it out a little bit. I didn't have any troubles blending out Laboratory. That was really nice. And the last row we have Shriek. I almost read that as Shrek for a second. We have Shriek, Menace, and Illusion. Shriek is a metallic, Menace is a matte, and Illusion is a metallic. And um, Shriek and Illusion are more on the foil metallic side. You are gonna get a lot of kick up with Menace. As you can see all the kick up on my finger. Oh yeah, Menace has, Menace is going to have a lot of fallout to it. Sh uh, Shriek has a little bit of glitter in it, which is nice, and Illusion is a little bit chunky, so you are going to have to worry about fallout with that one. Let's see if I can blend out, Me ooh. Uh, it blended out okay. I'm going to have to work with it on a brush to see how it really is. To see how it blends out. It just blends out okay on as a swatch. Now I am going to run the footage of me making this eye look using the Howling For You palette. A shade out of the Suspended in Dusk palette. And a couple other items that weren't necessarily Rebel Rouge Lab. So yeah. <laughs> and I will be right back with my final thoughts and some pricing information. Alrighty, that was the footage of me making this eye look and you're probably wondering, Melissa, why in the world did you pair a red lip with a green eye? That's because I really wanted to use this shade. It is from Rebel Rouge Labs in their Immortal Mattes line and it is the shade Nocturnal. I just really wanted to use this shade. I haven't used it yet. Well, what's my deal? Actually, I may have before. I can't remember. Y'all know my memory sucks. <laughs> but um, this is available on the Etsy site if you do want to purchase it. As far as this palette goes, I like it. I'm not like over the moon like I have been with all her, with her other palettes, like the Karma Chameleon palette and the um, Losing My Religion palette. The 
color scheme is good for you know the spooky season and for fall i don't like the way that menace kicks up like it does i mean that's just for me swatching it um i and i think i could have gone without the glitter shade i think i'm just not into glitter anymore i i, I don't know M that might just be me i don't know but i am interested in using zoinks that is a very very beautiful shade zoinks and uh shriek together i am interested in using those and i was gonna go for an orange look but then see because i have my orange scrunchie in but then i was like wait a minute i did an orange look for my nikki tutorials look and i didn't want to you know repeat colors so it's okay i like it i'm just not like over the moon in love with it like i normally am her palette um i still love rebel rouge labs they are my one of my ride or die brands i will purchase anything and everything from that brand so i do love the brand this palette is just okay um if you're going to use ghosted i would recommend either use a glitter glue or lash glue to hold it down because otherwise you're going to get it's going to fall off your off your eyes but overall it's okay I do have to say before I jump into the pricing that I do like the pigmentation of this palette. The pigmentation is there. It's great. It's just that one minute shade just really just does not do it for me as far as fallout and whatnot. But I think I'm going to have to play around with it to see how it actually is. This palette does retail for $34.99 and it is currently sold out. Yes, I know. I am the best reviewer ever. <laughs> Um, but she is going to do a mini stock, a mini restock of this palette. Uh, make sure that you are following me on Instagram so you get more information on that. I'm telling you guys, my Instagram is where it's at as far as information on brand releases and things like that. Um, I also got a cute little sticker with my order. So it's going on my laptop with my other Rebel Rouge Lab stickers. <laughs> um, if you feel like this is a palette that you really do like the color scheme and you feel like you get a lot of use of, I'd highly recommend it. It's just okay for me. I do want to let you guys know I do have a discount code with Rebel Rouge Labs and it is right here on the bottom of the screen. It'll save you 10% on anything off of the site. I do not earn a commission off of it. It is just there for you guys to save some money. And that is all that I have for you guys today. Don't forget, all my social media handles will be down in the description box. Come on over. We have fun on those pages as well. I do not, however, have a Twitter account. So if you happen to see one with my face and this gorgeous smile, report it because it's fake. Also, all the rest of the products that I used for my look today will be down in the description box below. I love y'all so much, and I will see y'all next time. Bye. Oof. Oof. Ooh. <laughs> have that feeling when you just just want to go <clears throat> that's me right now <laughs> i'm gonna change my lip color for my next video i don't know